Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous episode, we explored how to start the game match with host and client. However, we encountered an issue with character movement not synchronizing. And when we are trying to move our player, then all other players are moving on local client. In today's episode, we will learn how to synchronize the movement of players across all connected clients so that only one player moves. Let's get started. Let's check the Unity network documentation. Go to components and then select network transform. The network transform is used to synchronize transform of any game object of our clients. Using this network transform component, we can sync the player movement among all connected clients. There are two types of authoritative mode, one is server authoritative and another is owner authoritative or client authoritative mode. In server authoritative mode, client needs to request server for changing its transform like position, rotation and scale and server will change the, that client's transform and that will be synced to all connected clients. But in owner or client authoritative mode, client can change transform without requesting server and that change will be synced to all other clients connected on the server. In this project, we will use client network transform. You can watch this video on this channel to more about network transform. I will give the video link in description. By default, network transform component is being imported with Unity Network package. But for client network transform, we need to write a C-sharp script. Let's create a CSR script and name it as Client Network Transform. Now in the Client Network Transform code, we need to paste the code or Client Network Transform that we have copied from the documentation. In the Client Network Transform script, we are just write no overriding and function that is on each server authoritative that is that will return false when we will check in server authoritative or not then it will return false so it will work as client network task so this is the simple script we are inheriting it from the network task home we are just Overriding the only server authoritative function and the one authoritative function will return false and in the network transform code it is returning true. So we will use this plan network transform so that we can use it as owner authoritative. Now, in the Unity editor, let's open the prefers folder and select the player preview and add component. First one, network transform. We can see there are two components. One is network transform and one is client network transform. The network transform is server authoritative, but here we will use the client network transform script. Let's set the and make a build. Now we are running two instances of our build. Let's start as host on the left side. Now if we try to move the player of host, it's moving fine. Now let's start as client on the right side. Now if we try to move on the client side, the only the client player is being moved. And the movement is being synced to other side. Never try to move the host. The host is moving and it is being synced to client side. 
we can see that unlike before, now the only owner's player is moved, not both players are moved. But we can see that the animation is not being seen, and when we try to move, both players' animation is being working. So, what do we do? When we are trying to move on the host side, we can see that on the host side, clients player is also an event. Now, in the next video, we will try to fix the animation issue. That is, we will try to sync the animation to other side. And we will try that only the owner's player animation will work. Thank you. Bye. Take care. We'll see soon. Yeah.